Hello everyone, Kupo here and welcome back to my playthrough of Chukbo GP Story Mode. In this episode we are heading to a rather futuristic looking city and starting chapter 4. Let's go! Chapter 4. Racing Pedigree. So dark. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> to think such a large number of buildings lie atop this mountain. How peculiar. First things first, let's find a place to escape the rain. Look, there's people over that way. I wonder which city this is supposed to be. Because obviously when we think Final Fantasy and cities, we think Midgar from Final Fantasy VII. But given the rain, this might be Zozo from Final Fantasy VI. Excuse me, could you point us to somewhere we might be able to take shelter from this downpour? Ah, I think it's fair to say that you must not be from around here. That's my Dwin. In Zozo, the rain is constant. We therefore do not seek to escape it. Oh my god. I'm doing this blind. What a call. Uh, well, I didn't know there was a Zozo track in this game. I, I'm hyped now. You mean to say the rain never stops? Because there's two cities where the rain never stops in Final Fantasy. One is Zozo and the other is Burmesia. So, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to this. Outsiders find it hard to believe. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're gonna lie, you should try telling us something more convincing. While I will be the first to admit this village is full of liars, the rain truly never does cease. I, I respect any Final Fantasy callback. Believe me or not, I'm glad fate has deigned to bring you to me. You see, I'm in a bit of a quandary. And what exactly is this quandary? It's... Uh... That was dangerous. What was that? That was a Magitek armor. Oh, how embarrassing. Uh, allow me to apologize on behalf of my daughter. That would be terror. Oh my god. Uh, for those of you who have just found this video by sheer coincidence, I'm currently doing a Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster walkthrough. You should check that out. Yeah, that's Terra in uh, her transform. Terra, stop this nonsense immediately. Please get a hold of yourself. Maduin, so the prodigal son returns. What brings you here? That's supposed to be Rama and Shiva, I'm guessing. I've come to collect Terra. Just look at what has happened to her under your care. Why have you allowed my daughter to partake in such activities? I don't see what the problem is. Terra is enjoying herself. Wow. Big deal. I mean, you knew this would happen when you sent her to live with us. So, um, I'm not surprised Rama is here because, you know, he's the ward of Terra in Zozo. But, um, I'm surprised Shiva's here. <laughs> it is as Shiva says. The two girls are close in age and are having fun together. Isn't that enough? Yeah, and maybe you're the bad influence. When you and Tara came to visit last time, she was so quiet. It was boring with a capital B. And maybe a capital O ring as well. Having fun? She's in a trance. Uh, never mind, just return her to me. As if we do that, Tara. You'd prefer to stay with us, wouldn't you? <laughs> huh? <Grr. laughs> See? She likes it here better. Sure thing. Don't assign meaning to her nonsensical gurgles. I don't mean to butt in, but perhaps we should all take a moment to calm ourselves. How about no? This is too much fun these people they keep staring at us that needs to stop i've never seen any of you before 
Whoever you are, please do not involve yourselves in matters concerning my family. Terra shows a lot of promise, Maduin. She's very fast on her feet. It seems she's taken after someone. Seems so. Uh, that's in the past. How about this? You race us. If you win, you can take Terra back with you. Ah, uh, that'll be easy. What? Get real, Gramps. There's no way he can beat us. I'll just use Ben. That that will be the uh, call of the day, unless there's someone else we can use. Very well, but only under one condition. Everyone here is to join the race. Should any of us win, Terra comes home with me. Getting roped into this because it's a racing game. I'll allow it. Let's do this. No one ever agreed to this. I agreed to it. If one of us wins, victory is ours. Those are the terms. Maduin seems to be in a great deal of trouble. We must do our best to help him. Agreed. Thank you, everyone. In exchange, before we begin, allow me to tell you a bit about this magicite. I was going to say, what could Maduin possibly give us? But it's Ultima. Um, but it doesn't say what it does. Just that your magicite will, will transform into Ultima. If you continue to collect magic eggs while your magicite stock is full. Interesting. Uh, are you serious? There's nothing in it for us. I mean, apart from the fact we could get some new characters, and Terra probably rides the Magitech armor. I'm going to stick with Ben for this race, um, simply because I think his charge ability is mega OP. But I could be seriously wrong with that. But let's just go anyway. Just have to beat Rama. It doesn't matter about Shiva if uh, she's in this race. Just need to beat the old man. Okay, we should get a good start, good, and then go around. Okay, hopefully we can skip like this. Nice. I'm gonna. Ooh, this is a very tight turn. I want to. I want to not run into any of. Ooh, those water spouts. Ooh, the music's amazing. Okay, didn't get a good boost there. Missed the ramp. Speed ramp. Sorry. Okay. Hopefully we can catch some people up. Caught no one up. That's super unfortunate. Oh, yeah. No, that didn't work. Everyone got frozen. I'm guessing that's Shiva's ability. Okay, again. All right. Good. Got nice to use someone else's warp magicite. We'll use it again. Okay, so far so good. Run into people. Only Camilla's in front of us. We should be okay. Okay, we are winning. Again, Shiva's doing a lot of freezing. Oh, yeah, no. Where is Rama? That's all we need to worry about. Okay. I'll take second place. There we go. Not a perfect race. But we will 100% take that. Good job we didn't need to beat uh, Shiva. Although we only got one of the um, missions. But that's okay. I'll take second place. Alright, and we got Terra, and that's it. I thought we'd get Rama and Shiva as well, but clearly not. Father? Ah, seems her memory's returned. Terra? Huh? Father? I thought you were another bear. Huh. I was genuinely thinking that maybe she'd transform back into her human form, but 
Clearly not. You thought I was a bear? Charming girl. <laughs> I don't think that's your line. Besides, your father wasn't even there when that happened. <laughs> you saved me? Yeah, I did. Save your thanks for the Moogles. Uh, no, I, I did the saving. You keep stealing lines. But that's beside the point. I'm the only Moogle here. Ugh. I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. I've just realized he's saying stop stealing lines because they're lines directly from Final Fantasy VI. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Convenient excuse after a night of party. Oh, I don't want to remember a thing. I wish my mind was trapped in a fog. I don't understand why you don't like your other self, Irma. She's by far the more entertaining of the two of you. <laughs> don't we all? Ouch! Oh, Gilgamesh is back. We meet again. Hooray! Who are you? 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 Terra ter caught on very quickly. Impossible! Don't tell me you've already forgotten. We fought mano a mano, but just the other day. You there, you two chocobos remember, don't you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? So it's come to this, has it? Bah, race me, you fools. No way he's actually serious. <laughs> he's dumber than a sack of rocks if he thinks he can beat me. Let me guess, this is going to be another beat Gilgamesh race. I'll fight. I'll make this world a place where life can flourish and children can grow up in peace. Wrong game. Well, that came out of nowhere. Before we get started, I'll share a bit about Thunder Magicite with you. Let's see what's up. Um, rebounds off walls and will shock people for a certain amount of time. Good to know. I guess I'll have to cover Blizzard Magicite with you then. Freezing any racers who hit them, the higher level, longer the racers stay frozen. Okay. I had a feeling she was using that earlier. It was really annoying. Uh, let's use Terra. I'm really hoping she has the uh, Magitek armor. And she does! Uh, Magitek missile. Launch multiple Magitek missiles. Invert other characters in the explosions that follow. Cool. I'm going to go with that. Kind of wish we could use her human form, though. Costumes? Nothing. Unfortunate. Once again, just have to beat Gilgamesh. All right, let's go. Uh, Gilgamesh got way ahead of us, which is unfortunate. Uh, hopefully no one comes in front of us. Oh, no one, no drift there. Okay, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, we might fail this. Oh, I missed the uh, turn. Oh no, I missed the warps as well. Alright, let's go. I'm just learning Terra, so this will take some time for me to get used to. Didn't quite hit Sid there, but hopefully we can do better next time. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Turn. Oh, yeah, no. There we go, much better this time. Get into one of the warp gates. Oh no! <laughs> okay, final lap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. I want the ultimate magicite here. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh no! That was awful positioning. Hopefully we've done just enough. 
I think we have. Oh, nice recovery. Once again, arrived the slow time, but we beat Gilgamesh, and that's all that matters. You win! Hooray! Beat Gilgamesh. I still don't know what the tickets do. Um, we get Chapter 5. We get Rama. We get Shiva. We get Zozo. Enkidu, faithful sidekick. I trust you can take care of the rest. I knew they were going to call the car Enkidu. No, Enkidu, don't leave me. Oh, God damn it. What was that? Seriously? I, I couldn't tell you. Unfortunately, we know just about as much as you do. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be? No. Yes, and that's where we stand. God bless. Just getting straight to the point. I see. And the winner will be granted any wish? Any wish. For real? For reals. Oh, it certainly sounds like something worth participating in. That's because it is. I'll fight. I'll win and become a normal girl. Interesting. What is considered normal in this world? He makes a good point. I have a feeling Tara and I will get along swimmingly. This lady concerns me. <laughs> Th that, is, that is the correct response, to be fair. Yes! Summer vacation at the beach! I have to remember to include not melting in my wish. Sounds fun. Oh, I can picture it already. I'll have everyone's attention in my smoking hot swimwear. Interesting. That lit a fire under the girl. Perhaps I should also compete. To have my youth restored and once again be referred to as Lord of Levin. Now that is a dream come true. Fair. Come, Shiva. We must begin training immediately. Right behind you. It seems I've got some stiff competition. You do indeed, but let's be honest. Uh, whoever I'm... Whoever I control, sorry, is going to win it all. I'll fight. I'll make this world a place where life can flourish and children can grow up in peace. Again, wrong game. I promise. I'll be back as soon as I can. Still the wrong game. Tara, you've grown so much. Please, everyone, take care of my daughter. Will do. This is becoming more trouble than it's worth. It's not. We're getting a rather healthy roster of characters, it's got to be said. But yeah, I'm surprised that was only two episodes long, but it was. That's it from me. In the next episode, we'll get on to Chapter 5. It should be good fun. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, click the subscribe button as well if you want more Final Fantasy content. Take care, stay safe, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye!